Oh, yep, yeah, it is capsizing. Here we go. Here we go, folks. We are capsizing. There it goes! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are taking a look at GHS, or General Hydrostatics, and this was created by Creative Systems. Now, this is not a game, this is more of a simulator to see how ships behave when loads are applied to them. This is basically a beefed up version of sinking simulator or floating sandbox, except it's not in a dynamic world, which means there's no waves, it just kind of sits in a flat calm ocean, and uh, yeah, we can affect it as much as possible. We can also get these ships to technically sink, and uh, we can do that by flooding the model. So we can remove weight, add weight, flood compartments, and um, allow the ship to slowly start listing over. Now, the ship does not actively move, it only moves when you apply a load, so it's going to be a little interesting. So yeah, that's why this video is called How Experts Sink Ships, because this is how experts sink ships. This software actually cost $13,000, but the creators were generous enough to give me a free trial, which means not everything is available, however, it is still workable. There's a lot of cool features in here that we can play around with, and we're using the demo model. Now, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started here, and um, yeah, so let's see how an idiot sinks a ship using expert software. So let's go ahead and start flooding compartments, and I'll show you how to do that. But actually, before we flood compartments, let's get you oriented with the software's uh, interface here. So on the bottom left, we have our interactive uh, compartment clickable space. So if we click on a compartment, we can see where it is, and then we can affect it. So this is what we use to actually mainly flood the ship. So you can see a top-down side view, and then here is where the ship is actually going to be reacting to. You'll see which compartments are flooded, and you'll see how the ship behaves in the water. And this is going to be really fun for me, because um, I've always been interested in how these uh, systems work. And uh, what's interesting about this system itself is that the 2012 sinking theory was actually created on this software. So yeah, very, very cool. But let's go ahead, let's get started with the flooding. So, um... Yeah, first things first, we need to change this to auto, and this is how the ship reacts, so now whenever we put an input, it'll change the visuals here. So let's go ahead and find a compartment to flood. So let's do a traditional bow down sinking. So let's start with the four peak tank, which is ballast four peak, and to sink it, we just go to here and flood. But you know what it's done? It's done absolutely nothing, it's actually raised the ship out of the water. And the reason why is because that four peak was already filled with ballast. So, um, the only way to get this thing to go nose down is by flooding compartments that aren't filled. And as you can see, these compartments have empty space and then flooded space. So we're going to start flooding the double hull first. So let's select, uh, double hull on the, which side is this? Okay, this is going to be on the starboard side. So why don't we do a bit of a traditional titanic S sinking? Uh, so let's go ahead and flood the, uh, the bottom, uh, hull here. So here we go. The double hull is flooded there. Let's flood the next section, and I think we can just continue going down the line here. I think these are all just lined up, so we'll just flood all of these here. Okay, that is good. So you can see the water has flooded up to here. So let's go ahead and take care of these forward compartments now. So we just select it here, and um, oh, it's filled with alcohol, so things are about to get a little tipsy here. So let's go ahead and right-click on it, and this is a center tank, so it'll just flood evenly across. There we go, and you can see the ship has just dipped a little bit into the water, but that will change very soon. So let's go ahead and flood the next tank. Okay, turpentine, let's get rid of that and fill that with seawater, and uh, oh boy, actually what's interesting here is we've developed a list, and I think I know why, because uh, the compartment is on the starboard side. So let's flood the uh, port side real quick. We've evened out the ship slightly there, and uh, you can see which compartments are flooded, but let's get that center tank flooded, why don't we? So. There we go, let's go ahead and flood the center tank. And now we're starting to see a bit of a list forward, but nothing too crazy. And um, let's see if we can find the compartment right here, because um, I don't actually know where it is. I think it's this one, filled with benzene. Whoa! That has caused a dramatic port list. Uh, three degrees to port there. Um, so let's go ahead and flood the uh, other side. I think it's right here, there we go. And, uh, actually, no, that's not it. This is it, I think. No, that's flooded. Okay, it's this one here. Let's go ahead and flood this one. 
Okay, and now we have a 0 0.57 degree list to starboard. So kind of where we started at. But uh, I see a tank right here that isn't flooded, so let's go ahead and take care of that one. And uh, yeah, this is just really cool to see because uh, this math that's being calculated here is super advanced, and it's really cool to see it uh, actually working out uh, the sinking. So let's go ahead and flood another compartment. And um, what did I... Oh, what? What? General confusion has just occurred. Yeah, that is the compartment I wanted to flood. Why is it doing that? seems to have come out of the water slightly. Okay, so you see how this is above the water here, folks. What we need to do is instead of flooding it, we need to add weight. So you see how it's at 95%. Let's do 100, and let's do the same here, 100. And that'll give the ship some more weight downwards. But we still want to keep flooding compartments. So let's go aft another compartment. And this is a center tank, so this is going to cause a serious drop in a moment. Or not. Oh, because I didn't flood it. My bad. There we go, but still nothing too crazy. So let's see what else we can do to uh, flood these compartments. Um, so yeah, we are making our way down the vessel, and I think this one will do. Let's go ahead and flood this one. And it looks like we're starting to list aft now, so um, let's keep looking for more compartments to flood. Linseed, so let's flood that one. All right, so we're starting to list to uh, starboard now, and one thing that I am noticing is the ship is becoming more and more unstable. And that means that whenever I add an input, maybe just a small compartment flooded to starboard, it'll drop heavily to starboard. And you can see that we're listing 2.27 degrees to starboard now. So let's keep playing around and flooding the vessel, and we'll see how long it takes for this thing to completely go under. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get the port tank and flood that one. There we go. Now we're kind of to an even keel. And you can see, wow, that's not good for the ship. Definitely not. So um, yeah, let's keep moving aft keep destroying the vessel so here we go we flooded that compartment and uh, let's move on to the other side flooded that one and now we're kind of sinking um, v-brake style for titanic but i'm still wondering where this compartment is i gotta find out where that space is in the ship i think it might be right here no that can't be it oh yes it is it is somewhat of that compartment there and you can actually see um, how far it's filled up there. All right, so let's go ahead and flood this one here. Oh, wow, look at that. You can actually see where the water is coming across the deck. So as I said, very advanced uh, sinking simulator. That's basically the best way I can describe it as. Whoa, that did something. Yeah, that added a lot more weight forward. Now, the deck has not gone under yet, so it's not completely lost, but uh, it is in, in danger of totally flooding. All right, so now we're starting to list over a little more. Let's see if we flood some uh, starboard tanks, just just a few starboard ones. Now, that seems to have um, risen the ship out of the water, and this is on the starboard side. So let's see. Okay, yeah, so that must have been just taking out the load. So if we flood that compartment, it suddenly added air there, and all the water is just going to shift over to the uh, port side and kind of make it freak out a little bit. But... Uh, yeah, let's keep flooding. So let's flood a port tank. And yeah, it is really starting to not like what's going on. And it's actually sinking towards the stern. So why don't we flood the uh, the engine space? So yeah, uh, engine room um, fuel oil tank. And uh, yeah, things are starting to get a little more dramatic now. Um, let's do the uh, ballast tank or the uh, aft peak. So let's go ahead and flood that. And let's see, let's flood this. That's actually going to gain some buoyancy there. And um, we have a few more compartments below decks here to flood. So if we flood this one, that one's good. All right, so this is going to be a big compartment to flood. It's filled with alcohol, but it's only half filled. So if we flood this, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to get a big list to the stern, apparently. So, yeah, let's keep flooding. Um, let's go for the uh, engine room, another uh, oil tank there. And it uh, looks like we have two more compartments here. So we can flood that one and flood that one. And um, actually, we can just run through the list here and just keep flooding the vessel um, because there's really no point in clicking anymore on the uh, the uh, map below. But you can see most of the compartments have completely flooded. Um, oh, looks like this one hasn't flooded yet. Um, that's good. And let's flood this one. So just pausing for a moment, you can see the ship hasn't fully gone under, and uh, I think that's just because of the sheer buoyancy in the vessel, which is really surprising. I mean, look at how much buoyancy there is already right now. So, yeah. I'm still wondering where this tank is. It should be somewhere around the midsection. 
Um, let's see. Let's go and just run through the list. So let's flood that one. Flood that one. Oh, we're starting to get a little more movement now. Flood that one. Flood that one. Flood that one. And flood that one. Okay, so we're down to just a few more compartments left. So we got an oil tank flooded. A salt water tank. Actually, two salt water tanks flooded. We have a cargo center. Okay, so that's that one. So if we just go ahead and flood that. A uh, linseed tank. Whoa! What did that do? Let's uh redo that. Okay, so it's this tank here. So let's go ahead and flood that one. Oh, yeah. We're starting to get some big lists on the ship now. So you can see how unstable it is. And then we're already back to an even keel. Um, actually, not completely even, but close enough. Let's keep flooding here. Okay, so cargo side three. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. This thing is rocking and rolling, folks. Rocking and rolling. So only a few more compartments left. And I think... Is that it? Nope. One more compartment. And it's gone. So the ship has no buoyancy. There should be absolutely no buoyancy in the vessel at all at this point. And um, it's still somewhat afloat. And I think the reason is, is because this isn't flooded. So let's go ahead and flood this. So yeah, every single compartment is flooded. But uh, the water has just reached the deck. Which means this thing would have gone under immediately after we had just done that. Alright, so that was pretty interesting. But it didn't fully sink or capsize or anything. It just rocked a little bit to the end. But uh, let's see what happens if we try to capsize this thing. This will be fun. And we're back. Look at it. It's sitting in the water all nice and happy. And now we're going to flood all the starboard tanks. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's just start uh, with um, the cargo tanks here. This one's filled with alcohol. So there we go. That's underwater. Let's go ahead and see where this is. Yep, that'll do. Let's flood that one. All right, and um, let's go ahead, go with the next one here. We want to make sure, this doesn't say if it's starboard. Oh, no, that's center because it's got a C. We want to do starboard only. That's where we want to go. So let's start flooding this one here. There we go. You can see we've got that bow down list already. Another starboard tank and gone. Okay, and let's go ahead and do another one here. And now... We're finally starting to get a more serious list here. You can see that 0 0.49 degree to starboard list there. And let's take another look at this one here and uh, then we'll flood it. There we go. So that is all underwater. All of these uh, compartments here are flooded. But you may be asking, why isn't it sinking? And I just realized that it's not set on auto yet. So let's click auto. Oh God, oh my gosh, yep. That is a serious roll. Um, yes, I do tend to forget to click auto because it's that little button up in the corner But now that it's clicked you can see if we go to zero heal and then go to auto look at how far it's gone over So let's keep going here. So let's do the uh, the double bottom So let's go ahead flood that one that one is gone. Let's do the next one and gone and let's do the next one and gone and then we'll do the next one and Gone, okay so we flooded a significant amount of compartments there, but we're still not done. We've got some more to flood. And yeah, you can see the ship is really starting to list over now. Yeah, you really don't want to be in this situation right now. This is pretty bad for the ship, but uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. But uh, what we're going to do is before we keep flooding, we're actually going to take some weight off the ship. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with these tanks down here. We just right click and then click 0%. Look at how much weight we've reduced from that side. So, all right, so we're going to go to the next one, click 0, and look at that. It's just climbing and climbing into the air on that side. We're almost going full Costa Concordia here as the compartments flood, or, well, the weight decreases from the one side. Um, so we're going to keep uh, removing weights from, from the compartments here. So here we go. Let's find this compartment and um, remove it from there. Let's go to the next one right here and just remove the weight. Ooh, wow, yeah. This is um, this is uh, getting a little uh, dangerous at this point for the vessel, of course. Um, so let's see if we can, let's remove some weight from the center tank. Let's see what that does. Ooh, yeah, that gave it a, quite a lot of buoyancy there. Let's go for this one as well. So yeah, it's actually lifting the ship out of the water, creating it more uh, unstable. So. Um, yeah, not good for the ship again, but, uh, yep, still climbing into the air here, and, uh, let's go ahead and reduce some more weight, and, um, yep, let's reduce some more from there, 
And things are getting a little more dramatic now. As you can clearly see, the ship is starting to climb into the air. We have a 32 degree list to uh, starboard. And uh, this is similar to what the Oceanos was at near its uh, final plunge. Now, uh, speaking about the Oceanos, this is what this uh, software I'm actually using is for uh, to uh, accurately sync the vessel. So uh, just kind of a little uh, tidbit on how we're doing the, uh, the flooding analysis. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep flooding or removing weight from the vessel. So uh, let's keep finding compartments here. Okay, here's one, and that's gone. And that actually reduced the uh, forward list. So let's see what else we can do here. Oh yeah, fuel oil, that's gone. We'll get rid of that as soon as possible. And um, let's just keep clicking through here and making sure we're getting everything. Turpentine, there we go, that's all gone. So you can see more and more weight reduced from the uh, hull of the ship. And uh, we'll just keep clicking through until we find a compartment that is well, full, of course. Um, and there we go. Oh, this one's going to create a big list, I think. Oh, not too much, actually. That's surprising. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Whoa! Okay, so at this point, you can see the bottom of the hull is out of the water. This is not a good place to be at this point. And uh, I think it would be fitting to start flooding these top decks here on the starboard side. So, um, yep, let's start flooding these, and uh, this is going to cause major listing. Look at this. We're almost on our side here. Let's flood that one. Oh, gosh, this thing is about to capsize. Oh, boy. Oh, yep, it is capsizing. Here we go. Here we go, folks. We are capsizing. There it goes! We capsized the ship, and it is upside down. Look at that. You know, that's actually really surprising. Um, it, it is at a 166.94 degrees starboard list. I think that's a little much for the crew members right now. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys are just going to make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.